Jesse, I'm back. What happened to the smell? Got frostbite, I guess. Poppy, what's the matter? Nothing. Now, obviously something happened since I've seen you last, but... Hey, where's the wonderful news I was going to hear, hmm? Well, Jesse, I can't tell you right now because uh, something happened that might change it all. Oh, honey, I hope not. Jesse, would you give me permission to leave the hospital a little while before my afternoon class? Are you not feeling well again? No, I'm fine, really. It's just that there's something that I have to take care of and I wouldn't ask unless it were really important, please. All right, Bobby, of course. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. And maybe by the time I get back, I'll be able to explain everything to you. Go. Clean my act up. You gotta help me think of something. If I go see Gina Dante like Scotty says I have to, she's going to know in a minute that I'm not pregnant. And if I don't see her, then Scotty's not going to marry me. So what am I going to do? Oh, the first thing you're going to do is calm down. You come barging in here like a crazy person, waking me up, expect me to be a genius in two seconds. You don't think of something. I'm in trouble. Well, why the hell should I always bail you out? Because you're my brother. And you said so yourself. That when the chips are done, we Spencer stick together. I should have known I'd regret that one. All right, you gotta give me some time to figure this mess out. Look, I don't have any time. I gotta see Gina this afternoon. My God! What am I gonna say to everybody when they find out I'm not telling you? I can just see Laura standing there with her mother and her father all around her telling what a terrible person I am. Oh, will you back off? Just cool it. No, this wasn't Scotty's idea. I know it. Because he believed Dr. Haynes when he told me that I was pregnant. So somebody else put him up to this. And I know who it was. It was the Webbers. Because Scotty was gonna meet with them. He was gonna tell them the whole story last night. Will you shut up? I can't think with you running off at the mouth like that. All right. Okay, maybe this will work for the time being. What? Tell me. Listen, let's get back to the important thing now. Did you have a chance to talk to Bobby? Yeah, I did. And uh, she refused to see Gina at first. Well, I hope you were firm about it. I was, I was. I gave her an ultimatum. I said that if she wouldn't go see Gina today, she could just forget about going to Canada and getting married. Good. So, I don't know. I haven't seen her, so uh, I don't know what she's decided. Oh. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed. And I'll, uh, I'll see you later in my office, huh? Okay. Take it easy on your foot, all right? I will. Well, it was just silly. It was treating his patient and gut. Hello, Lee. Scotty. It's the guy I wanted to see. I want to talk to you before you take off for Canada. Well, I, uh, I may not be going now. That could be the best news I've had in a long time. What happened? Well, I spoke to Leslie Weber this morning, and she thinks that there's a chance that Bobby might be lying, that she's not even pregnant at all, and that she's just making this whole thing up to get me to marry her. Well, as you know, that thought has crossed my mind several times, even after Bobby's doctor uh, confirmed it for you. Yeah, so I talked to Gina this morning, and she said that she'd be glad to examine Bobby, and then I talked to Bobby. To tell her you thought she might be lying? Well, no, not in so many words. I told her that I wanted her to take another pregnancy test. Well, it's about the same thing. So, how'd she react? Well, she hit the ceiling. She said Dr. Haynes was her family doctor, and she was not about to go see anybody else. So, what'd you do? Well, I said either she sees Gina, or the wedding is off. Well, good for you. Now, if she really is pregnant, well, she couldn't have a better doctor than Gina. Mm. Hi, thanks for letting me out of here. Oh, you're welcome. Just don't do it too often. <laughs> Feeling any better? A little. Oh, good. Look, uh, if anybody wants me, I'll be in my office in oh, about ten minutes, okay? Okay, Jess. Listen, we're going to the commissary for a cup of coffee. Can you join us when you're free? Yeah, well, I'll be done in a minute. All right. Okay. Hi, Scotty. What have you decided about seeing Gina? I have decided that you are absolutely right. You have? Yes. I do deserve to have the best. And even though I adore Dr. Haynes, he is only a GP. And after all, Gina is a specialist. And if you think so highly of her, of course I will go and see her. As a matter of fact, I'm going to call her right now. Dr. Dante, hi. This is Bobby Spencer. May I make an appointment to see you this afternoon? Oh, any 
time that's convenient for you will be fine with me. Well, Bobby, I will be in my office in case there are any calls. Fine, Mrs. Hardy. And thank you again for giving me some time off from my classes. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to make it up. Good afternoon, little sister. What are you doing here? I'm here to see Dr. Weber about my arm. What's the matter with Dr. Haynes? He's a quack. Leslie Weber's a real doctor. I wish I could go on seeing Haynes instead of having to switch to Gina Dante. Look, I'm still scared about the idea that you came up with. There's no reason to be scared as long as you do everything just like I told you to do it. Yeah, but I don't know if I can pull it off. Oh, you're too modest. You underestimate yourself. Well, I'm going to call the clinic, but if they're too busy to see you now, will you just stay and go over it with me just one more time, please? I am so glad that Bobby finally agreed to see Gina. Yeah, well, she didn't put up a fight or anything. She said that I was right and that she'd be happy to have Gina examine her. And then she called her up while I was standing right there. Why do you suppose she changed her mind so suddenly? Lee, I don't know why Bobby does anything anymore. But I guess this means that she really is pregnant. Otherwise, she would have put more of a fight up, wouldn't she? Well, you didn't give her much of a choice after that ultimatum. Yeah, well, I don't know what to think anymore, Gail. You know, there is one bright spot in this whole grim situation. What's that? It's Leslie's new understanding about how you and Laura feel about each other. Well, I don't think she really approved of our getting too serious any more than Rick did. Well, even so, she does understand. Otherwise, she wouldn't have tried to help you. Yeah, you're right. She has been wonderful about that. I mean, it was her idea that Bobby goes and sees another doctor. You know, I've always liked Bobby. I just hate... Thinking that she could be lying about this whole pregnancy. Yeah, so do I. When is Bobby going to see Gina? Oh, sometime this afternoon, I guess any minute now. But can Gina give you a report without Bobby's permission? You're not her husband yet. Well, I'm going to insist that Bobby let Gina tell me what's happening. Because, I mean, I am the father, right? So naturally, I want to know everything that's going on. You're going ahead with your wedding plans if... Turns out that she is pregnant. Well, I'm all packed for Toronto. The way things look right now, I guess Gina's my only hope. Well, Luke, mm. you insist on seeing Dr. Weber, you're just going to have to wait. How long? I don't know. The clinic's all jammed up because there's the flu and the winter cold and all that going around. So now you can stand with the idea with me one more time, okay? Hi. May I help you? Yes. I have an appointment with Dr. Gina Dante, Mrs. Henry Davenport. Louise. Oh, Gina. Hi. Mm, how are you? I'm fine. I saw your name on my appointment list, and I've been looking forward to seeing you all day. How's your family? Just fine. Great. And how are you? Yes. Again. <laughs> After three pregnancies, I know all the symptoms by heart. I don't know why I bothered to come in today. I don't need your test to tell me that I am pregnant with number four. Well, you may be an expert by this time, but I'm still going to regular, do the regular test just to check on it. Um, come on, let's go and up to my office. Okay. Oh, just a minute. Bobby, I'll call you as soon as I can see you. Thanks, Dr. Dante. Tell me, Gina, does it get awfully boring for you telling someone for the fourth time that she's pregnant and she already knows it? Never. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> well, you see there, everything's falling right into place for you. I'm still scared. Now, come on, get yourself together. That woman knows what she's talking about. If she says she's pregnant, she is pregnant. Now, all you got to do is put your name on her test and her name on your test. That'll give you enough time to get up to Canada and get yourself married. And, uh, I love it. It's going to give Mrs. Baby Machine a real surprise in the meantime. Even agreed to see Gina makes me believe that, you know, that she, she is pregnant. Well, you had better make sure that she goes through with that appointment and that Gina gives you the results herself. Don't you agree, Lee? Yeah. Lee? Lee, what's wrong? Well, I'm too tired, honey. That's all. My back's bothering me. Guess I'm bending over the desk too much. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe you should go down to the clinic with me right now. Let me take your no, temperature on, really, and check it's you nothing out. nothing now. A good night's sleep, I'm going to be fine. No, Lee, Lee, really, you should go with Gail because you, what don't, you, you don't look so good. Are you in a conspiracy against me, you two? Look, you can call it whatever you want. Why don't you just come along? You don't... I have an appointment with Steve. I, I won't make you late, I promise. 
All right. All right. Scotty, I want you to find me the moment you hear anything from Gina, all right? I will be. As soon as I hear anything, I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, Scotty, would you, uh, will you be uh, coming back to the office when you finish coffee? Well, in a little while. I don't know how much good it's going to do, but I want to try and see Laura before her appointment with Dr. Taylor. I hope it all goes well. So do I. Come on. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Rooney. Bobby told me how nice you and Mrs. Brewer have been to her. Well, we're both very fond of your sister, Luke. Oh, by the way, I think you have a friend who's a fighter that I've been keeping my eye on. Vito! Vito Monero, yeah, sure, we went to school together. What do you think, Luke? You think he can make it? I think he can. Uh, the only thing he has to do is stop being so thick-headed and listen to people who know the fight game. As a matter of fact, I have a whole group of guys in town right now who would love to back a young fighter like Vito when he's ready. Interesting. Listen, why don't you drop over to Jesse some night with Bobby and we'll talk about it. Sure, I'd like that. Anytime. Oh, hi, Dr. Weber. Hello. I've been waiting to see you, but the clinic's been full all afternoon. Oh, Luke, if you haven't made an appointment with the receptionist, you're never going to get in today. Oh, Bobby already took care of that for me. I'm just uh, killing time until you're free. Okay. How are you, Leslie? I'm managing, Dan. Thank you. Bobby. Bobby. These are the files that I borrowed earlier. Will you please see that they get back in the proper place? Yes. Thank you. Good to see you. See you later. Yeah. Uh, nice to have met you, Luke. Okay. My pleasure. I'll see you around. Good. Bye, Bobby. Lobby floor, Miss Spencer. Um, yes, Dr. Dante. Oh, uh, great. My uh, relief will be here any minute, and I'll be right up. Luke, I'm scared. What am I going to do if I get caught? Mm -hmm. I think you're kidding, aren't you? I mean, this little stunt is nothing compared to what you pulled off in Florida. I don't want to hear about that anymore. All right, all right, don't hear about it. Look, you just do everything that I told you to do the way I told you to do it. And by the end of the week, you will be Mrs. Scotty Baldwin. Guaranteed. Good luck. Goodbye. Dory, I'm glad you're back. Your timing is perfect. Oh, thank you. You seem to be in a great oh, hurry. Got, where's the pencil? Oh, is this what you're looking for? Yeah. Why are you suddenly interested in, in Gina's appointment list? I'm in a hurry, Jory. I can't tell you now. I'll tell you all about it later. Thanks again, Dina. Oh, my pleasure, Louise. It was wonderful seeing you. And I'm sure it's not premature to wish you congratulations on what appears to be your fourth. <laughs> but I'll call you tomorrow with the test results just to confirm it. Are you going to be home all day? Oh, with my three to ride herd on, you can bet your life I'll be home. <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi there. Yeah. Oh, hi. Looks like you're going to be seeing me pretty regularly from here on in. I hope so. Me too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.